Hello friends, in this video I will show you how you can install one NX Runtime, OpenCV or any C++ library in Visual Studio. So, as you know, installing OpenCV or any other libraries in C++ is a little bit challenging sometimes. For that reason, I am showing you this way that will take you three or four clicks to do that. So the first thing that you need to do is to install Visual Studio. So you can install the latest one or, for example, you can just use the uh, version 2019, which works for me. So don't worry about that. Just download it, install it. I will not do that because I have already Visual Studio and it will take time if I will redo the installation here. So it is very easy. Download the installer. You will get something like this. Visual Studio Installer. You will get something like this, and you need to, to. For me, I have it already, but when you don't have it, it will. You will have some boxes here. Check C plus plus and install it. It will take a little bit time because it will download the packages and install them at the same time. For that, you maybe it will take five five to seven minutes, depending to your internet connection. But yeah, after installing it, launch it. And here, for example, we have our project. Now let's create a new project here. So click here and create a new project. If you have already know how to do that, just please skip this second. But now we are just creating a new project. Let's create a console application C++ project, then click in next. Here, let's give it, for example, a name. I don't know, for example, a Linux run time i am having problem with my keyboard let me just change it here yeah on next run time then test for example let me just create it so here your uh, your visual studio or c++ project i will just delete these comments the first thing that you need to do always is to check these two points or two uh, lists, if we can say. But for you need not always, but I recommend you to use the release mode because the debug mode will take time when you will run your code. But if you prefer using the, the debug uh, mode, it depends to you. But I am just recommending release if you are doing simple projects. And the second thing is here. You need to choose the right the right system because if you have a system with 32 bytes, so it will be like this one by default. But if you have 64, preferably use the 64 because by default it will be always in 86, which is 32 bytes. But if you you have already a system with 64 bytes, please change it here so that everything will be set. You need to do always these things before starting any project or putting any code just you set your environment and now let's just try to install OpenCV or uh, one next runtime after that you can do anything in your project so just to test if we have already here or one next or OpenCV installed let me just copy this uh, includes from this project here uh yeah and now you can see that the includes have problems or errors because we don't have on an extra time or cv installed in our projects so now let's let's go to install these two uh libraries so let me just you need to click here in project then go here in manage nuggets packages projects then manage nuggets packages so let me just click here you will get this window which we you can see that there is nothing installed because it is a new project nothing is nothing is installed but now let's browse and choose the uh, libraries that we need so the first one we said that we need one nx runtime so one nx runtime just type it like that and you will get this list so the thing or the uh, library that we are going to need is this one which is one nx runtime so, which is microsoft.ml that's one and extra time so this one and you can see how many downloads they are so now let's just see how to download it it is very easy go here in this row and click here and now go in install and okay we see that few seconds yeah it is installed now and when you will get this uh, this green button here means that it is installed and when we go here in install 
install packages, we will find it here. And now let's go to our project. You can see that the error here just gone because we have we had installed uh, ONNX runtime. And we can do the same thing for OpenCV. Let's just go here in Browse to choose something new. But sorry, before going to OpenCV, let me just give a remark. The uh, ONNX runtime that's installed now works only for CPU. So if your project will need CUDA, which means we'll need a GPU, so this one will not import the GPU. So you need to install a ONNX runtime special for the GPU, which is ONNX runtime.gpu. Let me just click here on X run time. And you will get this one here on an X runtime. It is the same thing, but that GPU, which is for GPU. So just click here and install it and it will be available for your project. So since if you are using CPU, so you need only this one. If you are using GPU, then you will need this uh, on next runtime that GPU. Okay, now let me go to OpenCV. So when we want to install OpenCV, just type OpenCV. But if you just put OpenCV, you will get a very old version. For example, here it is 2.4. If it, it is already working for you, no problem, you can just install it. But if you need a specific version, for example, the OpenCV 4, let me just click here. And here you will get, for example, OpenCV 4.2. Which is a little bit newer version. Not it is not new, but better than two point something. So, for example, we would install this one, and you can do anything. Uh, you can do the same thing for others. Let me just click, okay. And now it is installed. So if I go here, OpenCV is installed. Let me just delete. We now here have my Microsoft that I made as one and extra time, and we have OpenCV four point two. Now, let's go here in our script. You see that there is no problem with OpenCV or one and extra time, which means everything is set. You can just use these libraries to import anything, use your machine learning models, etc. etc. So that was for these two libraries, but you need to keep in mind that you can do anything here. Not anything, but almost all the uh, packages that are hardly to install in uh, for, uh, for C++. You can just find them here in this nugget package. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or you can just contact me in contact at pica.co. So I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.